Howdy, everybody. Well, there's people walking around, so... I don't know if they want to be on camera or not, but this is what we're going to do. This is, uh, I do a little bit of everything. So we come down today to prune knees back. These will come back next year. They're tiger lilies, irises, and uh, day lilies. Same with this. And uh, these tiger lilies here, I already pruned back once because I painted this building and I painted the fence. So these are guys were already pruned back, but it's been so warm that they started coming back up. So in here, we're gonna clean up the leaves. Uh, the tenant's gonna take care of the stuff that's in the, in the flower pots. <clears throat> here, what we're gonna do is clip this guy back so it's not hanging out into the walkway. We're gonna prune back the rose bushes. We're gonna get rid of all this uh, dead stuff, moldy stuff. I don't know if anybody ever told you how to take care of rose bushes, but uh, you always prune them back to where there's five leaves. <clears throat> so uh, for an example like this, when I cut this guy back, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that'll be good to cut. So you snip it here. Never cut it back to where there's only three leaves because it won't produce good flowers next year. And then over here, we're gonna square this guy up. We're gonna cut these guys down. Cut that lower to the ground, that decorative grass. We're gonna do the same with that rose bush I just planted this year. We're gonna prune her back so next year she'll be good. We're gonna cut this out. This will come back next year. These guys here I just kind of placed here um, this year because uh, I ran out of room for them. But next year when they come up, I'm going to take these three guys here and put them in the mixture over there with the day lilies. Uh, these, there's a mixture of day lilies and tiger lilies in there. There's a difference. I wish I could show you the difference between a day lily and a tiger lily. But uh, everything's pretty much dead, so uh, let me see. I'll do the best I can. Uh, okay, here we go. This here, see how small the, 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 the leaf is? See how wide, see how wide this one is? This is a, a day lily. They're yellow. These are tiger lily. This is a tiger lily. It's orange. I wish I had a better example. Uh, tiger, tiger lilies have more of a a leaf, uh, more of a leafy pattern. Like it's it's wider. Day, day day lilies are more narrow, like like this. Sorry guys, I got a little sniffle here. Here we got some more of this decorative grass. We're gonna cut them down. <clears throat> in the in the spring, we're gonna paint this side of the building. The lady wants to paint the aluminum siding up there. She wants to paint it the same color as this. Uh, trim is going black. The louver is going black. I just neaten it up. I've been down sick for over a week couldn't keep nothing down and then I got the flu right after that so usually the yard doesn't look like this <clears throat> so um let me get to work and stop talking oh yeah and we're gonna clean out here we're gonna blow all the the needles from the dug fir or the cedar we're gonna blow all that stuff out blow all this out and then once we get this all <clears throat> cut down, we're gonna rake all the mulch out to make it look nice. And then uh, the yard here, we'll give it a nice good raking so it aerates the lawn. 
you know, I'll blow it first, get all the big stuff, and then I'll go through with the rake and I'll pull up all this, um, you know, brown, brown grass, all this, this white stuff. It'll pull it out. It'll make the grass real healthy next year. Stay tuned, guys. I'll have a video come up in a little while. Uh, I'll probably post both of them after I get done. I'll do a walkthrough and a little talking and tell me what you think. Alrighty, folks. We'll do a nice video today. It's, it's Monday in the afternoon. Nobody's around. Uh, so here we go. This is one of the buildings I manage. Cleaned up. Nice. Blew the sidewalk off. Uh, the customer, she's really doesn't like to have anything, leaves, sticks, or anything along the sidewalk, which I meant to pick up here. I'm an idiot, guys. So, that's what it looks like when I get done. I made the box. The crate was made out of, uh, old pallet wood he put all the other decorations together I painted this place uh, <clears throat> this had a bunch of vines and stuff on it I pulled down before we painted the fence here needs a little attention uh, this little area here the the guy that rents the place, he likes to take care of it. He's got a dog and they run around. I clean up after my dog. Um, I told the, the lady that owns the building told me that I shouldn't have to like clean up dog uh, feces and stuff. So he's supposed to clean it up. If he don't, uh, I told him because it's hazardous waste, it's gonna be $50 an hour for me to get in there to clean. So let's go uh, amongst a little walk here. Got the rhododendron, rhododendron trimmed up nice. Here's the rose bush that I I clipped up yesterday. And then here's the yard after I got done. Uh, I blew it, then raked it. This here has all been pruned back. Uh, I call them moon shadows, the thing way in the back, back there. Sorry, I can't zoom in. Uh, the evergreen there, I like to try to keep it nice and level, up about two feet so all the leaves don't gather in there. This guy here, I square it off each year uh, because when they put the salt down, uh, the guy throws snow over here and it, it, it kills it off I tell him not to do it but he gets mad at me but uh hey as you can see I came through here yesterday I pruned all this decorative grass and everything down I did rake most of the mulch out I did clean all this up I did run the rake down through there all these leaves were underneath all these tiger lilies and day lilies and stuff. I blew most of it out. And then, uh, you know, from the from it being underneath there, all the moisture, it didn't want to move. So I was waiting for it to dry a little bit more. I was going to blow it off again. That tree dropped some leaves since yesterday. I got a little bit more underneath the hedges here to um, clean up. But yeah, this is uh, basically what it looks like. Uh, I really did want to rake the mulch out and get all the clumps and stuff down so next year when I uh, come through and edge it, what I do is I come down the sidewalk with a flat shovel and I cut this way and then I cut down and I throw the dirt up all the way along the sidewalk and it creates a little cove and then when it rains it don't wash all the uh, mulch off kind of like this over here 
when it does it's just a little bit you can see the little indent here the little uh border over here i do the same thing you can see i try to keep a nice straight line with the sidewalk even though it's kind of crooked it's really crazy uh this this year coming up we are going i am going to snap a line cut this straight probably cut it up on an angle and back and put a two by six in here and then run the coal patch all the way over if you uh put down uh spray it down with wd-40 or uh oil it'll end up sticking to the concrete better this had um some sort of flower here or a bush when they did this parking lot and they didn't want to disturb the bush so they didn't go all the way to the edge of the sidewalk uh, she's worried about a tripping hazard so we're going to cut that back and fix it make it look pretty I know I talk too much guys so um I'm trying to edit the videos to make them a little bit more funny. I, I'm trying here, guys. Thanks for watching.